How you doing? Justin here. Uh, in this lesson today we're going to be checking out mini sweep picking arpeggios. Now a lot of you guys have been asking for some sweep picking lessons. I'm not really very good at doing the proper big sweep picking. I am practicing at the moment so maybe in the future I'll be get good enough at it to teach you guys but right now I'm not. Now little mini sweep picking like what I'm going to show you now is the same technique and by practicing this it will help you do develop your proper big full sweep picking patterns if that's what you want. The reason I never really got good at the big ones is because I find them difficult to use because they're so big. You have to kind of play, stop for a bit and then go into a big sweep and then get into doing whatever else you, what other licks you're playing or whatever. Whereas these little mini ones are a little bit easier to use and really good to get lots of variations of them so you are able to use them in lots of different circumstances, be they rock, metal, jazz, whatever you like. So. Um, Let's get to a close-up. We're going to be doing all of these ones in the key of A minor. We're just going to be learning a really basic little shape. I'm going to show you how to do some variations of that and I'll show you how to link it to this other one. So you can play the kind of lick that I just played there at the start. So anyway, let's get to a close-up look at the left hand. So just don't worry about the picking for now, we're just looking at the notes. We've got here the 12th fret on the 3rd string, 1st finger, 14th fret, 3rd finger, 13th fret, 2nd finger on the B string, 1st finger on the 12th fret of the thinner string, and little finger on the 15th fret of the thinner string. What I'd recommend is you spend a bit of time just playing this now over and over again. Don't worry about the picking, don't start to try and sweep, just get the notes under your fingers so your fingers know what they're doing because in a second we're going to have to concentrate on the other hand and you can't concentrate on two things at once. Okay, now we're looking at the sweeping part, so checking out here, we've got this same pattern all of the time now. We're going to be doing this, down, hammer, down, down, up. Flick off, up, up, down, hammer, down, down, up, flick off, up, up, down, hammer, down, down, up, flick off, up, up. What you're after here is trying to get the pick to move nice and slowly and evenly through the string, not like doing a separate down pick and an up pick for each one. That would be wrong. Try and get it to just kind of glide through. You see eventually it's just doing like a little making that motion it's just making that one little sweeping movement as with most things on the guitar if you want to play them fast the trick is to practice them really slowly a lot and gradually build the speed up and this kind of sweep picking is no different However, there does come a point where you have to try and get the actual flow of the sweep working and it never really works until you just go for it. So what I'd really recommend that you do is practice doing that one pattern really, really slowly a lot. Do get you know, don't like, and I mean slowly, you know, like. That kind of speed, maybe even slower. And just really watch your pick hand, try and get that motion to be really smooth. And practice it like that, I don't know, half an hour, an hour or something, you know, or, you know, if you don't practice that long, 15 minutes every day for a week or two. Just really try and get that motion so it's really smooth and flowing together properly. And then every now and again, have a little burst and see if you can go and do it really quick. It's, it's, it's kind of a, 
you have to have done it slowly enough times otherwise the muscle memory won't be there but you will find that if you've practiced it slowly enough there will come a point where you just suddenly just start doing it and, and the picking will just flow and that's essentially what you're looking for for any of these kind of economy picking or sweet picking kind of uh, techniques um, now as I mentioned before there's a lot of different ways of exploring this idea now we've just looked at an A minor arpeggio but I'm just going to show you up, up close now a couple of ways of exploring that one shape for you guys that are a little bit more advanced you might want to try playing around with some of these ideas so let's go to a close up and look at some variations that use the same technique and the same pattern but slightly different finger combinations so the one we looked at already was this nice simple A minor 7 arpeggio couple of nice little variations that you might want to try. One is to turn it into a minor 7 flat 5 arpeggio. Exactly the same notes, but this first finger drops down to the 11th fret. Now this would work over an F chord. Because really it's a minor 7 flat 5, which works out as being an F9. So that's the first funky one to check out. Now you could always also use this same shape for a diminished arpeggio. Yeah, 12, 15, 14, 12, 15. Any of you guys into Malmsteen would know that one already. And this one moves around in thirds, so whatever the finger was at the end. Here, yeah, down three frets. Goes down three frets again. And down three frets again. And that's where you get a lot of those heavy metal licks like... So it looks like that. Down, hammer, down, down, up, flick off, up, up, down, slide, hammer, down, down, up, flick off, up, up, down, slide, hammer, down, down, up, Flick off, up, up, down, down. Okay, so far we've only been looking at the thinnest three strings. But if we just take that simple minor 7 arpeggio that we've been looking at already in A and move it over three, uh, over to the next three strings we end up with the middle part of an E7 arpeggio. Which is, of course, useful to think of it that way. You could also come up with arpeggios on the next three strings using the fifth string, fourth string and third string. This was one that I was using in the beginning, that first lick I played you here. This is an A minor 6 arpeggio. We're starting on the note F sharp, but we've got here uh, the 9th fret, 12, 10, 9, 12. And what I really like about this shape is it joins on to the other one we've got. If we go down, hammer, down, down, slide, hammer, down, down, now we're into that little one. We can use a little slide. I hope you've 
enjoyed a look at these mini sweet picking arpeggios. They're a lot of fun, they're very useful because they're like a little bite sized chunk. You shouldn't have too much trouble working them into your playing, but that's, and that's kind of the point now. Once you've learned the shape, you have to try and work out how you're going to get into it. Um, it's always the hardest thing is starting and finishing with these things because they usually tend to sound like you're kind of you're playing away doing your licks or whatever and then suddenly you stop you go into a bit of sweet picking and then you stop again and do something else it always tends to sound a bit lame the guys that do it really good are the guys that kind of effortlessly just flow into these monster licks and then flow out again um, I must admit I, I, you know I'll be honest here I, I have a lot of trouble doing that you know I'm, I'm, I'm not really good at that really fast technical kind of, kind of stuff which is why it's taken me so long to uh, give you guys a lesson on it because I just I don't like teaching stuff I can't do very well but I made a bit of an exception here um, it, this is a really good fun thing to do you know and it, it's quite a usable little trick I think a lot more usable than the really big sweet picking shapes and uh, I think with a little bit of practice you'll be able to tear these up all over the fingerboard at least I hope so anyway hope you've enjoyed that take care of yourselves lot, plenty more advice and some more hints on how to use this stuff on the web page uh, just look it up in the lesson index of course on the website justinguitar.com I'll see you for another lesson sometime real soon take care of yourselves bye bye